Okay, if you've got a mercury in line 6 and you are having problems with not getting spark on one or more cylinders and you have checked everything else, gone through all the other troubleshooting stuff and you are still having issues, this is something you might want to check. This is the uh, distributor housing. And I've got it all taken apart and everything waiting on uh, a new housing to come in. But this is the issue that I was having. The rotor disc somehow got warped a little bit. And I think that whenever I put it back together, this little piece here, I may have uh, put it on backwards. You can see how it's got a slope on this side and it's flat on the other side. I may have put it on backwards or something. But anyway, it, uh, you can tell it warped the disc. See how it kind of pops, you can hear it popping. And not only is it warped, uh, where it's kind of bowl shaped, but it also apparently was a little higher on one side than the other. The other mistake I think I made was that I put the disc on like that and tried to slide it in not, and not paying attention and it bumped this trigger piece here the, where the how holds the magnet and it kind of bent the disc a little bit to where it was higher on one side than the other. So a bunch of errors on my part. But regardless of how the disc gets bent, if the disc gets warped or gets bent a little bit, as it rotates around, actually this is the orientation, as it rotates around, you can see from the scratches on there where it was making contact with the magnet as it rotated, but just kind of in this area here. And what it did is as it rotated around, you know, these are the trigger points for I think it was cylinders one and six. Anyways, two adjacent cylinders that I was get was getting no spark at, at all in one, and maybe just a, just a tiny little bit of spark on the other. And I think what happens is if this disc is making contact, we've got this gap here, and if the disc as it rotates around, it should sit in the middle of that gap, and if it contacts the 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 piece there as it rotates it shorts and I'm not sure if it short circuits the triggering of the spark or as the spark is being delivered through here if it shorts it out and sends it to sends the spark to ground but either way it shorts and it either doesn't send the signal or, or interrupts the spark and so you'll get little to no spark on one of those cylinders and the way I determined that it was doing it I mean you can see looking at the disc after the fact that it was rubbing, contacting the magnet there, but I basically, while it was on the engine, I just turned the flywheel. I, I figured out which two cylinders didn't have spark, traced the spark plug wires back to the distributor housing, and kind of looked which positions, you know, that those, that those trigger points were, took the distributor housing off, and then rotated the flywheel until the rotor was pointing at those points, and it was trying to see what was different about it and I noticed and I, I, as I rotated it you could watch the the disc kind of sitting perfectly spaced in the middle there or I kind of, it had a little wobble to it a little higher at some points a little lower at other points but you still had a gap and then I noticed at the trigger points where uh, I wasn't getting spark uh, that gap disappeared because it, the disc was actually touching one side or the other and by doing that it, it was short circuiting the spark uh, my first thing I did was just kind of with the disc still on there I could see where it was up a little higher I just kind of flattened it a little bit you know just mashed on it and stuff and got it where as it rotated it was you know perfectly gapped all the way around and it fired right up it ran on all six cylinders great spark and everything the only problem was because once these discs these metal discs they want to re retain their shape I mean just like I keep popping it in and it wants to pop back out uh, same thing whenever I would uh, uh, I bent that back out flat. It was fine for about an hour or two of running and then it started doing the same thing again. And so I finally just wrote down and ordered a new disc, you know, put that new disc on there. And, but the problem was that, you know, this is the little housing from, from the disc rubbing against the bottom of this magnet housing. There's like a, some black epoxy type stuff. Like I think it's the same as this material here that holds the magnet in the housing and it had rubbed all of that stuff off and it was just barely being held in there. And of course you can see this is the actual magnet that goes in that housing. And it, uh, it 
first it fell out it dropped down with that new disc on there it dropped down where it would contact the disc as it rotated constantly so literally i was getting spark on no cylinders and uh, of course i took this part off there's a couple of screws that hold that on i took that off and tried to uh, put some uh, aluminum brazing material in there around it uh, to just kind of hold the magnet in place but as i was kind of hammering some of that out and shaping the little parts that were sticking up it shattered the magnet so and cdi doesn't sell just this piece here because just that piece there is a little piece of aluminum with a magnet in it and it would cost all of five or ten dollars is all they could charge for it instead i'm out close to four hundred dollars to order new housing to replace that so hopefully when i put it back together i'm going to be very careful and make sure that the uh the rotor disc does not get uh deformed at all and whenever i get it together before i put it back on the boat we'll make sure as it rotates that this got is perfectly gapped all the way around so i can avoid that issue uh, with these engines there's so many things that can cause it not to run right and you fix one and then you, you find another one so this is something that i have not seen anybody else talk about in all the forums and all the videos i've seen no one else is you know discussing how you know if this disc is not perfectly fit in there that it will cause these issues the other thing is you can see how you know it was rubbing on this side just on in a couple of spots but i noticed it was rubbing on this side like nearly all the way around and see it started to kind of rust get a little bit of rust on here but it was rubbing pretty good as it went around and you can see where it rubbed here and it scratched up there and you can see where it rubbed there and kind of dug out that little spot there as it rotated too and i think that issue may be uh, there's a couple, if you look at the, the diagram for the motor, the parts diagram, it shows right above this, this little washer, spacer, whatever you call it, this thing that holds the rotor in place. Right above this, it shows shims, and it says AN as far as quantity as needed. And they, they sell a shim pack, you can get them online for, you get them on eBay for like six or seven bucks. Uh, and it comes with like three of the little shims. So basically, if you slide that in there and you get it in position and stuff and you notice that it's the gap isn't it's not centered if it's closer to the bottom if it's or if it's rubbing this housing or if it's closer to the bottom and needs to go up a little bit they do sell the shims that you can slide on that shaft so and the, the shims sit against the the uh the bearing here and give it a little bit more space so that whenever you slide this in uh, it, it sits perfectly um it didn't come with any shims on it whenever I got the, the, the motor and uh, you know that may have contributed something again I think I may have been it when I put it together but regardless there are shims available so if your gap here is not and if your disc is not sitting where it's supposed to is touching the bottom um, I assume since this is metal and this is screwed to this I'm assuming whether your disc is contacting this piece or whether it's contacting this piece if it's contacting uh, at certain points it, sh it will probably short out and not work right so instead of ordering a new housing and stuff that's something that you might check it may literally be that you know your disc got bent when you were installing it or when whoever was installing it that this got bent got deformed or friction or whatever it rubbed at a certain point you know it was sitting too low and it rubbed and deformed but uh, just something you might consider checking and maybe save you some time and and energy banging your head against the wall trying to figure out why you don't have spark on one or more cylinders.